Hi, and welcome to your 27th C++ lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to go over multiple constructors. Okay, so before, I've said you can only have one constructor. That was a lie. You can have more than one if you... Oops, if they take different parameters. So, let's just set up our basic program. Uh, name space standard. And then, in main and get a character and return zero. So let's create a class. And we're just going to call this class robot. And it's going to have a public section and a private oh, private section. And in the public section we're going to start making our first constructor. So robot takes no parameters. This is our default constructor. If they create an object and don't give it any parameters. So all this can do, in fact let's make some variables in private first. So int speed and int weight, let's just say. So in our default constructor, so if they don't give it anything, then we're just going to go speed equals zero and weight equals zero. Okay, so that if they do nothing, just set the speed to zero, and set the weight to zero. However, our second constructor is going to take int s. And guess what? This is going to be the speed. So if they specify it with only one, then we're going to assume it's the speed. So we're just literally going to go speed equals s, and then weight equals zero and then guess what our third one's going to be we're going to have int s and int w and I'm pretty sure you know what's going to happen here speed equals s and weight equals w so let's just go over this we have int speed and int weight and if they don't if they make a robot object without giving it any parameters and speed zero and weight zero. If they make a robot object with one parameter, we assume that one parameter is the speed, so we set the speed to that and the weight to zero, and if they do it with two, speed is the first one and the weight is the second one. We're also going to make one more, and this isn't going to be a constructor, this is just going to be void show. Um, let's just call it show just for now, because I can't bother to give it a proper name. So, I'm just going to show out, show out, see how the values. So, speed, and then speed, then the weight, and the actual weight value. Okay, so now let's create a couple of objects. So we can have robot and the first one's gonna be called Bob and all we're gonna do is we're gonna go Bob in fact no sorry my fault robot Bob and we're gonna give him no parameters so yeah well we'll we will leave it like that so robot Bob we've given him no parameters so he's gonna use this default constructor which should mean his speed zero and his weight is zero so let's create another robot robot Jill and We'll add the parameters to her in a minute. And we also have robot mark. So Jill is going to have 12 as her parameter. And mark is going to have 18 and 9. So what should happen is robot Bob uses the default constructor speed 0, weight 0. Robot Jill should have this second constructor, which means her speed is 12, but her weight is 0. And robot mark should have a speed of 18 and a weight of 9. So just to show this, let's just go see out Bob. Oops, messed that up. See out Bob. And then we can just go bob.show. And then we can just copy and paste this. You can see out Jill. And jail.show. And then the same with mark. We 
C out mark and we do mark dot show. So we know what it should do. Let's just see if it all works. Here we go. Bob used the default constructor. He has a speed of zero and a weight of zero. Jill has a speed of twelve but weight of zero. And Mark has a speed of eighteen but a weight of nine. So that's how you use multiple constructors. Obviously you can have as many parameters as you like in these and create as many alternate constructors as you want. And multiple constructors are really useful, so uh, you can incorporate them in all kinds of different places. So that is the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.